You reprise the voice of Gossip Girl in the current reboot. Does that mean you've watched every episode of it? Yes, almost. So who's your favorite character? Kristen. Yes. Kirby. Yeah. We've brought you in today to take a lie detector test. One of you will be hooked up to the machine, while the other one will ask the questions, and then you'll switch. Mm. So, who wants to be in the hot seat first? Oh. I'm just nodding. I'll get it over with. There we go. This isn't a joke. This is a real lie detector. Oh. We're, We're getting real close. close. <laughs> We're getting close. It's fine. We're working together. This is doing your skin conductivity. And you could just email the results to me, I guess. <laughs> Kristen, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you a few questions to start to get a baseline for the machine. Is that okay? Okay, good. Um, is your name Kristen Ann Bell? Yes. Is it Kristen Ann Bell or, oh, is it Kristen Annie Bell, isn't it? Annie was a nickname I applied to myself when I was three. I changed my Wonderful. name to Annie. I did try to trick you. Perfect. Are you from Huntington Woods, Michigan? Guilty. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? No. Okay. Sam, we are good to go. You mentioned on an episode of Armchair Expert that you track the temperatures of avalanches. Is that right? No. <laughs> Would you say winter is one of your favorite seasons? Winter? Yeah. Would you say you like snow more than this person? No. Are you sick of frozen jokes? Yes. Okay. Do you hate sunshine? Hate is, I don't really hate anything. No, I don't hate sunshine. Are you a vampire? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Or not. You're known for loving sloths, but recently you said you think cows are the cutest animals on the planet. But have you ever seen one of these before? Well, Corka, of course. Oh, she knew. You don't think I know this guy? I saw that word and I thought that was like... It's a marsupial. <laughs> they live in Australia. They're actually, this is a, almost a real life size. The Corka, they're so cute and they're very friendly. Wow. She's telling the truth. Thank you, Sam. Now, do you still think cows are the cutest animals? Having seen, again, the quokka. Quokka. Um, <sighs> no. Okay. If you could save only one animal Pass. race. Great. <laughs> you can do ask you, it to me. You can ask it to me. If you could save any one animal race, it's tough because it's really two animals that I don't know that would normally be at the top of people's saving list, but it's, would you choose cows over sloths. Pass. <laughs> I can't answer that. I hope you can read this on the machine. The answer is I, I literally don't know. She's struggling, Sam. She's telling the truth. And she's telling the truth, she doesn't know, okay. It has been said that you're the worst to watch certain shows with because you mimic lines. Do you still do that? Yes. Is it because you think you do a better job of saying the lines? Sometimes. <laughs> Do you think you would have done a better job than her? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Sam? She's telling the truth. Wow. What about him? Yeah. <laughs> this accent was a little wonky. <laughs> That's questionable. Questionable. <gasps> wow, I was being honest. Maybe it spiked because I didn't want to say it because it was um, like not the most flattering thing. But anytime you're an American doing a British accent, you're yeah. good. It's gonna be like under the microscope. Yeah, yeah. This is a gotcha journalism. Do you think you're a better actor than her? Absolutely not. And I also don't think I'm a better blonde than her. Look at this. Can I just tell everyone something that's now a fact? You don't need to be blonde, okay? It's been perfected. It's like a John Hughes movie. Don't, don't remake it. This is the reason I went, see my hair color? It's the reason I went dark. It's because I saw this and I was like, oh, she nailed it. I'm out. <laughs> 
Okay, next question. When you were on Dax's podcast, Armchair Expert, you talked about having a spotty memory. Do you remember the first time you met your husband? Yes. <clears throat> I do have a terrible memory, mm. which is one of the reasons I think I'm a happy individual. I wake up with a pretty clean Groundhog's Day slate <laughs> every morning. Um, <laughs> I actually do think some of the secret of being like happy, like I think I'm great for people telling me their secrets because people are like, wow, you know, I really can trust you, but often I just forget. It's gone. I do remember the first time I met my husband. It was at a dinner party at a sushi restaurant for our mutual friend who's a producer, and I didn't have any idea who Dax was, and he didn't have any idea who I was, and there was zero chemistry, <laughs> and that's really magical. And I had his children. <laughs> You were infamously the narrator on the original Gossip Girl. Are you a gossip? No. I think when people gossip, it says a lot more about the person gossiping than it does about the other person. True, true. This next question is, have you ever gossiped about me? And I'm going to take this one because I would say everyone has spoken about someone who they've interacted with with someone else. Yeah. I think it's a weird gotcha. Yeah, I, but gossip is a is a gossip is a funny word. A though. particular umbrella mm -hmm. of like, did you hear Kirby yes. in in the context of I've got secret information about, and that's not how I roll. You reprise the voice of Gossip Girl in the current reboot. Does that mean you've watched every episode of it? Yes, almost. So, who's your favorite character? Full disclosure. <laughs> Full disclosure. I watch it on mute. Because there's so much sex. <laughs> That's not why I watch it on mute, but I watch it on mute because I'm the narrator and I can't have all of the sounds coming out of their mouth interfering with the sounds coming out of my mouth. So I get the tape oh. and I mute it and I read my lines into my microphone. So I don't know the character names That's as well clever. as I should. You and Dax have a new show called Family Game Fight, right? Yes. Do you think your family would win in a fight? Against who? Against this family! <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. What about this family? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Well, most of them are old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you starred in mostly rom-coms. Would you say that's accurate? Yeah. Do you think you're better at the rom or the com part? Neither. Fairly average at both. She's telling the truth. <laughs> You've had a lot of funny co-stars throughout your career. Between these two, who would you say is funnier? Bam. And bam. Oh my God. That is an incredibly difficult decision. Yeah, that's tough. Decision. If we're talking about who makes me laugh uh, on a daily basis, it's going to be Bateman. Bateman. Because he knows my sense of humor very, very well and pokes at it. But as far as like his writing and construct of comedy is concerned, it's Jason. There you go. Wow. Okay. You're a known fan of the show Tiny Chef, correct? Correct. Yes. Do you agree with the saying that great things come in small packages? Absolutely. Is that because you're only five foot one? Absolutely. Do you think the Tiny Chef is better than this chef? Yes. What about this chef? I don't even need to see it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that might be a tie. <laughs> Perfect. That sums it up. You are going to prison. <laughs> so, I should have gone first. I'm nervous. Kirby. Yes. We've brought you here today to take a lie detector test. <sighs> yes. I'm going to ask you a few questions just to start the baseline of the machine. Is that okay? That's okay. Is she lying? I have to get a baseline. Ah! <laughs> Sam is like, slow down. Okay, we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna <clears throat> get the hang of it. <laughs> Kirby, we're gonna ask you a few questions. We're also here in a room. Is she lying? <laughs> you let me know. Okay, ready. <clears throat> is your name Kirby Hal Baptiste? Yes. Are you from London, England? Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Yes. Dun dun. You moved to Los Angeles in 2012. Would you consider yourself a true Californian now? No. Do you prefer living in London rather than LA? Ooh. Uh, 
No. I'm really 50-50 on it, but I hate when my socks get wet and cold. And that's what I think about all the time when I think about moving back to London is like, oh, you're going to spend seven months of the year with wet, cold socks. Do you not wear shoes? No, the rain will soak through your shoes. If you haven't worn Wellington boots, if you didn't plan it, it will rain so much, it will soak through your shoes. And if you have to carry on with your day, you just have to carry on with wet shoes. And when you move to California, you never have to deal with that. No, there's no wet socks in California. Never. No. Do you feel like, based on that wet sock comment, that you're turning your back on your fellow countrymen? No. You've been a member of UCB since 2012 as well. Would you say you're good at improv? Yes. Better than this person? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Said it without hesitation. <laughs> yeah, show me the next one. Better I'm better than, than them. This person? Yes. She doesn't do improv. That's true. <laughs> I know that's true. I don't even need to look at Sam. We were both on the show The Good Place. Would you say that America is currently in the good place or the bad place? The bad place. <clears throat> That's correct, right? Yeah, that's correct. Do you think you'd be led into the good place? Yes. I agree. So do you think you're better than everyone else? No. Just some people? Yes. I know that's right. I didn't even look at you. <clears throat> Have you ever gotten in trouble with the law? No. Hmm. Have you ever tried talking your way out of a ticket? No. Have you ever gotten a ticket? Yes. Then she has gotten in trouble with the law, so make, 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 a, mark. <laughs> make a mark on there. Gotcha. <laughs> Remember your training curve. Do you think I'm having a hard time handling these papers? <laughs> no, I actually love the way you licked it and flicked it. I was like, I should have unripped the staple instead of just holding it. I think this it. is canceled, though. Post I think it looks amazing COVID, still. This is canceled. You shouldn't do it, but it's it looks cool. It's always going to be cool. Yeah. The popular word right now for cringe is chuggy. Do you think that I knew that before I read that sentence? Absolutely not. Correct. No one in this room did. She's telling the truth. That's correct. Do you think these chuggy items belong in the bad place? No, I love Dave and Buster's. A crock pot? No, I like it. Who the hell? Oh, Improv like... troops. No, they're in a good place also. No, that's not what I'm in the bad place. Okay, maybe they can be in the bad place because the majority is bad. Crock pot is like in the medium place. And Dave and & Buster's is a good place all day, every day. You can get a margarita with a Corona in it. Come oh, on no. Sam, I believe that Don't she waste my time here. what she's okay. saying. She's telling the truth. Okay, on the Think Bigger Actors podcast, you said you consider yourself a social media hermit. Mm. Does that mean you don't like social media? Yes. Have you ever posted a thirst trap? Yes. Is that true? She's telling the truth. I would, I would, because I would say, I think the reason why it's reading this through is like my debt, I think not like outwardly thirsty, but I have posted a photo in a bathing suit and anything where less than 50% of your body is covered is considered is, factual. is at least going to be seen as a thirst trap. And actually, if we're all going to be honest, let's be honest people, because everyone wants to be like, it's just for me. It's a thirst trap. Be real. God, can we not be real? Oh, you in your underwear, it's just for you? Then dance in the mirror. Are you the coolest person I know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, she is. I know. I knew that was true. Um, <clears throat> have you ever commented on a celebrity's post that you've never met? No. No, I believe that one. Do you ever look at my social media feed? Yes. Do you like my posts? Yes. She is telling the truth. <laughs> um, you've spoken about how much you love weed. Yes. Did that love grow after moving to LA? Yes, it started in LA. Do you wish you were high right now? Yes. Are you high right now? No. Um, have you ever grown your own weed? Yes. Hmm. I mean, you're an entrepreneur <laughs> in so many ways. Being that Queen Pins is our fourth project working together, would yes. you say that I have weird quirks or mannerisms more than other people you've worked with? No. She's a little freak, but not more than anyone. I mean, it's like great freak. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've done four projects together, don't you think it's time for us to create one? Yes. Amen. Do you think you have a good sense of style? Yes. Do you think you're more fashionable than her? Yes. Oh. I think she knows fashion. But you try it out. What about <sighs> That's her? Hit me. Okay. Where? The picture they did. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> She's a, you're in a scarf indoors. What am I gonna say? Whatever. Uh, then and this? Look, yes. Look at that. Look at the jeans. <laughs> Not today, but in this photo, yes. Okay. One final question. Did you lie at any point during this lie detector test? No, I don't think so. Oh, she is telling the truth. I did mark the parking ticket one though. Thank you. <laughs> Just make a note because if, if if there's like a prize or something, make a note. I was like, no, but we know she did. <laughs>